Because of technology, we live in the world of smart TVs, smart watches, smartphones, and so on. But have you ever heard of smart cards? Have you seen or used a smart card before? People say smart cards use PIN numbers. What is a PIN number and how is it used? Well, this lesson will discuss the use of smart and magnetic cards as well as how PIN numbers are used. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to recognize the use of personal identification number PIN as a security measure to initiate transaction using smart or magnetic card and describe the benefits of the trend towards cashless electronic transactions. If you like our videos, kindly subscribe and click on the bell so that you are informed every time we upload a new video. By doing so, you will support us to create more and more. Thank you so much. This card is commonly known as the ATM card. Most modern ATM cards can work both as smart and magnetic stripe cards because they have both programmable chips and magnetic stripes. You should also understand that both the chip and the magnetic stripe contain readable information about the owner, the bank that issued the card, expiry date, and other relevant information. When one swipes the card to make an electronic fund transfer, either at the supermarket or at any other shop, they are required to enter their personal identification number, which is commonly known as the PIN. A PIN is simply a secret code that verifies one's identity and usually has four numbers. You should also note that smart and magnetic stripe cards can either be debit or credit cards. A debit card is a card that allows the holder to transfer money electronically from their bank account when making a purchase, while a credit card is a type of payment card in which charges are made against a line of credit instead of account holders' cash deposits. As explained earlier, there are two things that could happen when one is making a transaction with a credit or debit card. If the customer enters the correct PIN, the electronic fund transfer transaction will be completed and no transaction will be permitted if the PIN is incorrect. Now, think about this. After being issued with a credit card by his bank, Mr. Swanda decided to go to the nearby ATM machine to withdraw some money for paying school fees for his children. Because he did not know how to operate the ATM machine, he asked a stranger to help him. So he shared his pin with the stranger and he was helped to withdraw some money from his bank account. Unfortunately, on his way back, the stranger followed him secretly and robbed him of his credit card. Just imagine what happened after that. Considering what happened to Mr. Siwanda, it's not advisable to share any information that is related to your credit or debit card with anyone, especially strangers. It's easier for someone to steal money from your bank account if they know your PIN for the credit or debit card. 
some people may also steal information on your card and use it to defraud you for these reasons credit and debit cards must always be kept secured and should be protected never share your pin with anyone unless it's someone you trust Magnet cards may not work well when they are scratched or broken. Therefore, these cards should be kept delicately and free from scratches. Debit and credit cards should be kept away from magnets, cell phones and devices that produce magnetic fields. This is done in order to avoid information erasure. Now, let's talk about the benefits of cashless electronic transactions. Firstly, there is a reduction of theft of hard cash. The other benefit is that an electronic card can easily be replaced if it is stolen or lost. Electronic transactions are easier and quicker to handle and they can be done from anywhere at any given time. Lastly, it costs a lot to print hard cash and to make coins. Hence, electronic transactions may help governments to save money on printing banknotes and making coins. Summary. In this lesson, you learned that electronic cards are also called smart or magnetic stripe cards. They are issued by banks with the purpose of enabling people to perform electronic fund transfers. When an electronic card is issued, the bank gives a secret code to the customer. This secret code identifies and verifies information of the bank account holder. The secret code is called Personal Identification Number or PIN. Electronic cards must be secured and kept away from magnets and devices that produce magnetic fields. They should also be kept scratch-free to avoid information erasure because electronic cards provide a link to one's bank account it is not advisable for one to share the pin or expose the card to safety lastly you learned that cashless electronic fund transfer transactions have a lot of benefits as compared to the use of hard cash Revision exercise. A. Give two examples of smart or magnetic stripe cards. B. What do the initials PIN stand for? C. Explain how a person can perform an electronic fund transfer at the supermarket using credit or debit card. D. Why do you think cashless electronic fund transfers are better than the traditional ways of making payments.